All right. Uh, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, season two of Girl Talk. Uh, it's not really a real thing. It's just I'm too lazy to, like, do it, like, efficiently. So I just deemed it a season two because I haven't done it in a long time. But uh, we're back, and I have two people with me. I'll let him introduce themselves. I'm Oreo. Right. <laughs> You're Oreo today? Okay, that's cool. I'm Stephanie. <laughs> I'm Oreo. <laughs> You sure? Sorry, oh I, was, my God. I was thinking about you. Okay. Sorry. All right. That's interesting the way it starts off. All right. So hopefully we have a good episode because I think I made somebody mad because I feel like she think I was rushing her to eat. You could have ate. I wasn't. Okay. You I look kind of mad, mad at me. You got. You, you said okay. 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 <laughs> I said you're okay. I'm okay. I know when a girl no, gets mad. You definitely. Not... You look a little okay. agitated. I said. Are you sure? Okay. okay. I ain't want you to beat me up. All right. So how are you doing today? Good. I'm good. That's good. Uh, can we talk about how you guys were on white people time today? You guys came ex- like exceptionally early. What was going on? See, like, <laughs> what happened was, um, it was just an L after an L after an L. We almost didn't make it here today. You almost didn't make it. Well, I'm glad you made it safe. You know, that's that's the only thing that matters here. All right, so um, I don't even know where to start this off at. I guess I can start off with how I met you two. Uh, I guess I can start from my left first. Uh, how did I meet you? Because I really can't even recall. I don't know if you can recall. Well, one of my best friends is your sister. So, like, that's how I, like, officially met you. I think it was, like, at a family function or something. Was it? Yeah. And then you came to my, like, birthday thing when we had, when we went to, um, Escape Room. That was your thing? Yeah. I swear, I've heard about 30 different people who think that was. Really? I swear, at least, like, everybody else told me that was somebody else's thing. That was your thing? I didn't know. I swear it was my thing. I thought, I thought that was, it was. See? I thought it was a Jasmine's um, thing? I thought it was, um, what's her name? Alana's. No, it was, I think it was my thing. Because I remember. Yeah. So we went to escape room and we <laughs> didn't escape. And that's, that's what happened. So, yeah, there was that. How did I meet you? Was it the escape room? Was that the escape room? Mm-hmm. Was it, was that the first time I ever met you? Yes. You should share probably officially, like. Yeah. Face to face, man. Was it? I feel like it was something before. Because remember, we were talking about did I meet you at Art Walk before that? Or remember that? Oh, wait, yeah. I can't I remember know. which one was first. I, don't know. I can't I don't remember know. which one was first. I don't know. But I know my first like close encounter with you was, was that. Escape room. Okay, so I have a funny story about that. So uh, Jasmine, she was like, You should come to Escape Room. But she know I doesn't really like leave my house like that. So I don't know if it was your party. I don't know who party it was. <laughs> I just remember I was like, I don't feel like going. I was like, who's going? She showed me a couple of those going, and then she was like, she's coming. And I was like, who is this? She's like, oh, this is African girl. And I was like, wow. I had to put on dashi for her, you know what I'm saying? I had to put on some tribal gear for this you know, oh right here. <laughs> so we get to the place, right? And uh, I don't know, Amber, are you familiar with my uh, In My Bonnet song? No. Okay, so I have a song about me wearing bonnets. Go figure, right? And uh, I had just made it or whatever, and I remember Jasmine... I thought it was just so funny. It was planning to go in there. And you didn't ride with us in the car, did you? No. Okay, so it was me, Jasmine, and somebody else. And they just thought it was so funny. And they was like, oh my gosh, Eric, show everybody your Emma Bonnet song. And I was like, ha. And I was like, ooh, maybe I could make African girl over here get a little chuckle. (laughs) So I played it. And uh, she didn't laugh one time. (laughs) She was like, she was like that the whole time. She was on her phone. She was like, oh. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, everybody's laughing except her. (laughs) I'm just like going in my seat like, oh. It's really embarrassing. So yes, uh, that was the first time we ever met. But uh, I think it's I think it's better now. I, hope, I think I make yeah. you laugh. I, I think I do. But um, yeah. So um, I don't know, man. Do you guys have any topics, or am I providing all the topics today? I'm gonna just put it on the table before I get into it. I don't know if you guys have anything you want to discuss before you forget. No. No. Nothing on top of your head. Nothing on top of your head. All right, so, um, yeah, this is, like, the most unprepared I've ever been. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I was too busy looking at too much YouTube stuff. Mm. But, um, yeah, uh, I mean, relationships, right? They're they're interesting things, you know? Are you guys good relationship people? I would think yeah. so. You guys, how was your last relationship? Um, Are you in a relationship? Let me start with that. No. You're not in a relationship. Okay, so how was your last relationship? Um, it was really rocky. Really rocky. Yeah. ASAP Rocky? It was very, like, like, Rocky, Philadelphia, Rocky. Rocky, right. Philadelphia, wow. Were you, like, was he beating you up or something? No. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say, that, was, that, got, that got kind of dark, like, whoa. No, <laughs> it was really dark. Um, it just took, like, a, like, a left turn. Left turn? Like, yeah. When was this, like, recently, months ago, years ago? Mm, 
it's probably been like almost two, three. No, no, yeah, it's probably been like almost two years since like officially like ended, but like it was yeah. like seven months ago when we had that little mm-hmm. encounter. During this phase, have you been going through? Uh, I think the women uh, they were referred to this as the whole phase. No, no whole phase for you. Okay, so women that go through their whole phase, they talk about it so like just amazingly. So why isn't this something that you participate in? I don't know. I just feel like you like get out of a relationship and you're so vulnerable. Like it's just bad to do. Like go from one person to the other just to fill a void that you're like you know going through. So. So you, f- you feel like the whole phase is for people to fill a void? Yeah. Mm, so why did you feel like there was a void after your last relationship? Yeah. Why well, I mean, you, so why didn't you feel the need to, I guess, get filled by a thousand cocks? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just thought, me personally, it's just better to stay t- to myself for a while just so I can get myself together. Okay. But I mean, other people, you know. They deal with things differently. Right. So. Okay, okay. So uh, how was your last relationship? Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm bad. sorry. I have to start over. Are you in a relationship? Mm, as of right now, no. Okay, so how was your last relationship? I mean, it was it was it wasn't a bad relationship. We're not on bad terms or anything. So, I mean, I could say. I don't know. Oh, so it just it's just it was, it was a relationship, right? So right now, like, how are you feeling? In the sense of like love, like are you looking for love? Or are you? Oh, no, I'm chilling. You're chilling. Are you going through your whole phase? Oh no, I'm just, I'm just chilling. What is chilling? Because when a girl tells me she's chilling, I feel like she's like, actually getting a train ran on her. I, <laughs> no, I, I mean I'm going to work. I'm mm-hmm. going to school, and I'm just chilling with my friends. Like I'm not really looking for no nigga to really talk to or anything like that. So it's just. So why is it that you're not looking for a nigga to talk to? Like, is it something that you're still stuck in your last relationship or? I mean, I just, I feel like I want to just focus on me right now. Because from my last relationship, the relationship before that wasn't really a gap in between it. So it's like. And so you just went straight in. Yeah. No, no well, it's not, not like that. that. It's just that. You said yeah. No, I mean, not exactly. not just my yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, because the way you said it, like. You make it seem like, no. right, I broke up with him one day and then the next no, no, day. No, no, but was like, the next day. like. There was like, so you know how like some people like, like. Some people go from, like, relationship to the next, like, the next day. Yeah, definitely. Like, hers wasn't, like, a 20 years, and then she went on her right. next yeah. one. But, I mean, of course, she found somebody else in due time. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, of course, she had another person, like, you know, not as soon as she broke up with somebody else, but she was already, you know, catching feelings for, you know, somebody else. So, it wasn't, like, boom, boom. So, let's, let's be honest here, because the way she explained it... Sound like she said you had somebody on the back burner. No. So did you have somebody like not. on the rebound? No. Because I know women do that. They keep a nigga just like they'll like they could be like in a very well. If you want to know how my last relationship started, this is how it went. So, uh, when I was with my ex ex, <laughs> I guess <laughs> when like I guess after we broke up, the guy who I ended up dating last, who was my ex, we worked at the same restaurant. So that's kind of how we met. But it wasn't like, you know, after, like, as soon as I broke up with him, it was like, okay, we started talking and shit went from there. But that's not hit like, the table too hard because, like, that's really sensitive and it's going to, like, pick it up. So you, pow, it's just all like, oh, it's really loud. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Keep going. I don't even know what I was talking about. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's good. Nah. <laughs> oh, man, I feel like I'm going to keep aggravating you. <laughs> So last night, it was kind of quick diversion. You were telling me how you hate when people ask you questions too much. <laughs> Plus, it's gonna be one of the things where I ask too many questions, you go get really mad at me. So if I get swung on, uh, that'd be really tragic. Um, if she swings, I'll probably on, just say I don't know. If she swings on me, what are you gonna do? That's the question. Are you gonna help? <laughs> are you gonna help me? I'm gonna duck too. You gonna duck too? Then I can help. Help who? Oh, that's so great. Thank you. Yeah, please do not take her side. That would be ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so you were talking about meeting your ex-ex at a, um, a restaurant or something like that. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, that's how we met. So, it's, it was like when I was in the relationship with my ex, I already knew who my, I guess, future boyfriend was. See, that's, so it sounds like... But you, not like that. It sounds it's like not like that. I just knew who cool. he was. 
Because we worked at the same restaurant. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. Okay, so you're dating this nigga. <laughs> you're dating this nigga. In the midst of you dating the XX, are you flirting with your ex? No, that's the thing. That's so how I'm did saying. you know that it was going to be him? I didn't know it was going to be him. I'm just saying, like, he worked there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, now right. I'm getting aggravated. I'm trying to help it break it down. Wait, break it down like what? You, like, I can't help me understand. You understand what you're saying. I don't. You know what I'm saying? So you got to help me understand. I'm just saying we just worked together. Okay. It wasn't like I knew he was going to be my boyfriend, but we worked together. I saw that's how I knew him. Okay. I knew him through work. So, but when did it become apparent that, wow, I might actually want to date this guy, or I might want to date this guy? I mean, it was a couple months afterwards, but... Were you in a relationship with No, that dude? that's what I'm saying. Okay, so when you were in a relationship with the dude, right... Did it ever occur to you, like, I may want to date this nigga, or was none of that? It was just strictly just this nigga work with me? It wasn't even like we talked like that. It was just like, I know this dude work with right. me, and he okay. just work at my job. Okay. It so, wasn't until after I broke up when I was like, okay, he's actually kind of cool. Maybe this might go somewhere. Okay, so then after that, did you, like, flirt with him on the job? Because I'm pretty sure that's against company standards, if you did that. Okay, great. I don't, I, I'm just saying. Okay. I think you were for Olive Garden. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Olive Garden does not tolerate. <laughs> that wasn't even Olive Garden. Look there, it was Cheddar's. <laughs> it was a ch- I don't know. If, I don't know what that is, but I would hope they don't tolerate employee employee. <laughs> Whatever. You know. I think it doesn't matter when you're a host and a buster. So. You said you was a what? I was a host and he was a buster. So uh-huh. With that, a that joke kind of makes itself host buster, busting host but yeah. Anyway, so, um, yeah, uh, back to you. Um, well, just kind of both of you guys. So, I've been having this conversation, and uh, he tells me this all the time. He verbatimly says, women are idiots when it comes to relationships. That is verbatimly Anthony saying that right there, right? Ampavelli on Twitter if you want to get at him. So, he always tells me that when it comes to relationships, women are idiots. So, I'm curious of your take on that. Because I don't agree with that. I explicitly disagree with that. I am a feminist, and I will never say anything like that out of my mouth ever. Oh. Idiots like how? Like yeah, in a how? relationship like how? Ask this guy. Don't ask me. About? Yeah, what are you talking about? What you <laughs> talking about? So who said that, Amp? You said that. I never said that. What? You made that up. I am a feminist. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am a third wave feminist. You were telling me the show right now. You're like, man, I'm about to talk about women are idiots. <laughs> that, that happened? Yeah. Wow, okay. I lied. That actually happened. I do think women are idiots when it comes to relationships. I think they're imbeciles, actually, when it comes to relationships. Now, let me break that down. I think that women are really smart, maybe even smarter than men, very debatable. But when it comes to relationships, you guys lose your common sense and become buffling just fools, like bumbling just like retards almost at this point. I don't get it. So I want to know before I go deep dive into that, does it sound like I'm speaking any type of sense right now or no? Not at all. You don't think I'm speaking any sense? What about you? Okay, so have you guys even looked at a snippet of those little interviews I do with the... Do you hear the things that these women say? Yeah. They sound like they, like, literally write the short bus. Like, they say the dumbest things in relationships. Might be the smartest people outside of that, but when it comes to relationships, it's like they just lose their train of, like, thought. I don't get it. I just, I just don't know. So, I, you being women, I kind of want you to under... I kind of want you to help me understand the thought process of a woman in a relationship. In what way? Just, uh, like, what are things that women do in relationships? Like, they will date just, like, um, I don't know. They will date, like, the lamest nigga of all time. And then, like, out, and then after the relationship, they'll be like, that nigga was lame. And I'm like, you didn't realize that when you were going into a relationship? Or they would date, like, a street nigga, and they're not a, like, girl that's from the hood. They'll be like, oh, I love me a street nigga. Then, like, that street nigga, like, pistol whipped them with, like, a, a Glock 19. You're like, hmm, probably shouldn't have dated that nigga. So, it's like when y'all are in a relationship, y'all are so blinded by love for whatever reason. Y'all can't think with logic. That's my thing. Women cannot think with logic with love because the logic blinds the love. The love blinds the logic. That was a lot, but yeah. I want to disagree, like, but it's true. Yeah, I feel like but it's, it's like... It's ignorant. To, to, it's to an extent. I feel like it's to an extent. Explain. Because, like, <clears throat> at the end of the day... A female's gonna do what she wants to do, regardless of how you feel. Like, if she wants to, if she, regardless of you doing this and doing that, if she wants to stay, she's gonna stay. If she doesn't wanna stay, she's not gonna stay. Like, okay, what about you? How do you feel about that statement? How those statements are made? I don't think we're like, 
I don't think we're stupid. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I have seen some of your interviews and like some of the stuff females say is like really ignorant. Mm-hmm. So you know, we don't claim them. You don't claim them. What? You can't do it like that. Cause just some stuff is just ignorant. Like they just say it out of like that. Right. Like they just say it for like. I feel like some people say it for the camera. Say it for the camera. Okay. Hold time out. Time out. Time out. If I I know she is. If I'm not mistaken, you are of African descent too, right? Oh, I'm Haitian Haitian. descent. Haitian descent. Foreign though. Both of you guys are from foreign descent. So do you think that background and that like the way your parents raise you are different from the way American black parents? Because I can't speak for you, but I know for a fact. African people, African black people, they like swear they're better than black Americans for whatever reason. So there's that. But I don't think Haitians think that. So I'm curious. Africans don't even think that. And that's crazy. They do. No, they don't. African Look, people. Because I'm Because. If Cause anything, they, the it's thing, the other way around. They, they feel think, that they, black people feel that they're better mm-hmm. than they are. No. So like, I have like, I see where you're coming from. Because like, I mean, Haitians are the same way. Like, we just think like. You know, because we didn't have the opportunity and coming to a different country, and we had to go through what we went through. Like um, Black Americans, like they get it easy, right? Like so, which is I mean, which is true. And then they still like just throw it away, like, and that's true. That I mean, if you talk to my grandparents, think the same. They they'll think the same thing. Like right. so, it definitely is like. A I feel background. like yeah, I feel like foreign Black people they perceive Americans, Black Americans, to be lazy almost like. You guys, like, you guys are only one family, like, you know, you didn't work for this, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you, you, you get that. And to an extent, that, right? it's true. Yeah. So, so you think that black Americans, or not all of them, but do you think that uh, Africans generally work harder than black Americans? I mean, I wouldn't say it's work harder. They just, they know where they come from, and they're not going to come here and waste it. And black people already have it so privileged that they don't know where... I feel Jersey? like with them, they're just. They're just I don't want to say them. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're already talking like you know. That just sounds bad, but I don't know. It's just like. Um, you don't know. I don't want to say the wrong thing. No, just talk. I mean, I'm saying a lot of wrong things on here, so you can go ahead. <laughs> Because I'm not trying to sound like Africans are better. I mean, <laughs> I'm down. I mean, go ahead. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But, like, I mean, I don't know. It's just that, it's just sometimes it's like the opportunities that some black people get. It's like. But I, mean, I think it doesn't rule us out as being the type of people that, you know, don't come. Like, I know people that come here from my country and. Right, still they do the same thing. Still do the same thing, just like just like regular people. They will. And then it's like with them, it's even worse because it's like you can get deported. Why are you playing with yourself? If you want to sell dope, but you can get deported. You don't go to jail. <laughs> so how about this? What are things that you see Black Americans do, and from your foreign perspective, you're like, wow, why would they even do that? Like things that you commonly see that black Americans say or do that you're just like, what? Like, I can't even wrap my head around why that would even be a thing or why you would say that or why you would do that. From your former perspective. I mean, one, just like kind of not taking school seriously because I feel like they don't take school as seriously. Hmm. You don't think so? Yeah. Because there's so many kids that I know that's like... <clears throat> Like all you had to do is get good grades, and you just chose not to. It's not like you're stupid. Some of them aren't even stupid. Some of them know what they're doing, but they just choose not to, or they don't know any better. So they like, fuck it, I'm gonna sell dope all my life. Right, because they see it from my, <laughs> right. <clears throat> you got anything you see that people do or say that you're just like, huh? I can't think off the top. Off the top. Do you agree with that? Yeah. The education thing. Yeah. So, because I realize Africans do really take, like, education serious. Yeah. Um, is that because, like, or just both of you, I'm not even talking just Africans, is that because, like, back where, like, you're from, I guess, is the education just so much, like, greater here that you just, like, want to take Not even that. Um, the country where I come from, you have to pay for education. It's not free. You don't get to go to school for free. I mean, you have to we'll, pay to go to school. You only, only get to go... Like, like here, in America, you get to go, here America, free you get to, go to school free until you get to college. And it's like, okay, well, college, now now you have to pay for it. Nigeria, elementary, you got to pay for it. Middle school, pay for it. High school, pay for it. 
He's like, you gotta pay for everything. Their colleges in Nigeria? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just wanna say I'm stupid. <laughs> I try to keep a straight face. <laughs> I try to keep a straight face. I could not do it. Dang it. Okay, so, um, I just kind of forgot what I was saying with that joke. But, uh, yeah, so I think that is interesting that you guys take it more serious than black Americans. Um, but, yeah, Haitian people, I feel like you guys have gotten a really bad rip. And I feel like, I'm not going to lie, until Kodak Black, I feel like people were scared to say that they're Haitian. I feel like Kodak made it cool for people to be Haitian. I feel like there's people that's not Haitian saying they're Haitian now at this right. point. So growing up Haitian in America, were you ever picked on for being Haitian? Oh, yeah. Okay, I so mean, what, what were some of the things said to you that you remember about, you know, people talking about? Well, first of <clears> all, <throat> you know, because of how, like, in middle school, you know, like, we're 12, 13, we're just ignorant little kids. Mm-hmm. Like, first of all, they thought I was African because, yeah. you know, I came, I came to school. Like, I, um... When did you come here, first of all? Um... I was born in Naples, Florida, mm-hmm. and then I lived in Haiti until I was, like, seven. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, like, in elementary, um, like, I mean, of course, like, I'd get made fun of because I didn't really speak English that well. Um, so, I feel like definitely they did make it, like, cooler to be Haitian because, I mean, before, it was just like, you know. Who are you? Yeah, <laughs> like, like everybody is Haitian now. Like yeah. I know people that's definitely not from Haiti. That doesn't have any Haiti descent. Zo life. Yeah, like oh, I'm a Zo. Like, Zo life for no life. <laughs> yeah, like they're not really Haitian. So does um does it make you I guess proud to see more people like that are Haitian descent claiming they're like Haitian and like you know becoming more cool? I mean, I like um people who <clears throat> respect my culture and mm-hmm. you know just they're just so fascinated by it. But I mean. You know, the whole, oh, I'm this, I'm that. Like, the whole background of being, like, a Zoe or a Haitian, like, it's deeper than just waving a flag. Like, and, you know, it's like passe, all that, you know? Right. It's, it's, so what does Haitian mean to you? What does being Haitian mean to you? It's just, it's just struggle. But, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, it's <clears throat> how much we struggle and how much we have respect for each other and just strength to come up. I just, that's, that's what I love about Haiti. Because, I mean, after, like, we had our earthquake and stuff, like, I mean, we still, we still push through. Hillary still ain't give us our money back, but, you know, like. Is that a real thing? Yeah. Or is that, like, a mean, should, like, a thing? Like, Red Cross and stuff, like, people who do, like, when there's tragedies and stuff, don't, don't donate to Red Cross. They keep all the money for real. They don't, really? They don't give it to, like, the countries that they're raising the money for. Like, she has millions of dollars that she's supposed to give to Haiti <clears throat> to rebuild. Like, and money's still nowhere to be found. It's crazy. People still voted for her, though. It's pretty, <clears throat> it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Well, I kind of want to dip into that a little bit more. Before I do that, would you guys say you're, like, Americanized the way you dress? Or are you still, like, you know, repping the Haiti fashion, the African fashion? Well, I mean, I wouldn't call it American. I would just call it dressing in the region where we're living. Like, yeah, yeah. Americanized, right? Dressing Western. Yeah, dressing to accommodate yourself while you're here. I mean... Like, what do you have on? Like, show show the people. Like, I guess we could do like a, you know, like you're on a red carpet. Like, huh, man, what do you have on today? <laughs> you have on a floral dress, you know? <laughs> yeah, um, but like, for real, like, if I would come... In this dress to Haiti, like you know, they'd be like, "Oh, she got money." So yeah, like, yeah. That's a she got money dress. Anything that's not like they're kind of I wouldn't say basic down there, but like they don't worry too much about how they mm-hmm. like they don't dip their money into clothes too much. You know, they care about resources, buying land, and all that stuff. Like they're just they take more pride in having. Owning stuff. Owning stuff, right. if that makes sense. Not like, things. not that they're all poor down there and they yeah. can't dress. Yeah. For sure, they can dress, but, you know. That's not the first thing they're worried about. Not, yeah. What about you? Like, what, what do you have on? Some leggings and a shirt. Can you show the <laughs> camera? Is it, nobody can see it. I mean. Is it like on a red carpet? Oh, what do you have on today? You have on the leggings? You have the shirt? My shirt. Oh, your booty almost hit in the face. But uh, duh. <laughs> your booty almost hit the wall there, today, man. Oh my god. Calm down. But um, yeah. So 
that's interesting you brought the Hillary Clinton thing though because uh, it's kind of like a political thing and uh, the thing that happened this summer that was kind of big was the whole abortion talk I don't have a uterus I do have a uterus <laughs> or do I have a uterus I, I don't know that. I get back on you do I have a uterus I don't think so. I think a uterus is a womb. Yeah, I don't have a yeah. uterus. I don't. I'm gonna cut that out and make myself look smart. <laughs> so I do not have a uterus, and uh, yeah, I don't think I really have a very solid opinion on that. So you being two women that have uterus, I would assume. Um, how do you feel about that? Abortion, the topic of abortion. I mean, I feel like depending on the circumstances, yes. How about this? Do you think abortion should be legal? Yeah. Yeah. You? You think abortion should be legal? Okay, so why? Because women should have the option right. to to decide what they want to do with their lives. Like, it should be an option. I don't understand why they're trying to stop that. You know. That's her, that's my choice. Like, I'm the one who got to carry this baby for nine months. Like, so, you're not about to tell me that I have to keep it if I don't want to keep it. So I'm not sure if I'm right on this, but I think in some states they pass this law where um, they legalized abortion to the point of the day you're going to give birth. So you can like abort the baby until literally like the due date. Oh, no, so that's not okay. are you okay with that's that? That's not okay. No. No, there's, not? A, there's a certain point where it's like, now <clears throat> this is a baby baby. Mm-hmm. Like this is not, it's not a fetus. Boy, this is it's not, not a fetus. fetus. Like it has, it has a heartbeat, it has eyes, it has... It's developed. So when it's that far along, you don't, you don't think that it should you should have the No, because the fact that you waited that long, now you have to keep it. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? Why would you wait that long and then you're like, oh, no, I don't want it anymore. No. So what if the person, like, rebuttal was like, oh, I don't want to, like, um, I, what if it'd be better for me to do this and give it away to an uh, uh, orphanage? I'd rather... You give it away to an orphanage? Even yeah. though it's hard, I mean, there's a lot of orphanages. I mean, if you want... That, that's why I was like... With that, I feel like if the female wants to hold carry the baby but just does not want to take care of it, then yes, do that option. What option? The orphanage? Of, yeah, the oh. orphanage. You agree or, with that? Yeah, adoption. Because there's plenty of females yeah. out there who can't even have babies. Yeah. I guess the whole adoption thing is like they might not get adopted or at orphanage treat the, treats the babies. and No, the kids when they're newborns, they're definitely, someone's going to get them. It's just the fact that with adoptions, it's like once a kid is like four or five years old, not nobody wants. I mean, it's it's harder for someone to take a kid like that because you don't know what they've already been through. You don't know, you know, what type of other problems they have. So it's like you have to be a really strong person. And I commend those people. I commend those people who do that because it's like you have to be a really strong person in order to just take in someone's child and raise them as your own. Like I said, I didn't have a uterus. Uh, can't comment on that one, but it's interesting. Do you, uh, what, are that, is that like a topic that you're really like uh, passionate about? Like, is there a topic that, it could be about anything, that when people talk about it and they say like, I guess, ignorant things, it kind of like boils your blood? Like, oh man, like you sound stupid. Like, what are topics like that that kind of get you like, you know, in the mood to like, not debate, but you know, just like irks your nerves? Both of you. Anything that has to do with Trump, I'm sorry. Anything has to do with Trump, we can get to Trump, that. America. Hold it, hold it, because I might, I might want to talk. Oh, I am going to talk about it. But hold that. What about you? Um, I don't know. You know, I let you think. Go back to her. What's your thoughts on Trump? Um, I feel like he shouldn't have been president. Mm-hmm. I just, I just feel like <clears throat> we didn't make the right choice. Like, and I mean, not everybody because I, I didn't vote for him. But, <laughs> I mean, for real, like, and we didn't have, like, you know, enough votes to, because, I mean, Hillary, she has her faults, but I feel like she would have made a bigger difference. Honestly, I wanted Bernie Sanders, but, you know. So Bernie, did you vote for Hillary? Yeah. I so did. even with the Haitian earthquake thing, you could look past that, being a Haitian person? Just the fact that she <clears throat> has more political background than him. Like he yeah, Donald Trump had absolutely zero. Like, I mean, her husband was the president at some point. So I just feel like, I mean, she's had her foot in office for so long. He plays America like a game, and you know he's making decisions left and right that are based off emotion and just him wanting to do this and that. Like, 
is just childish to me. So, I'm literally a celebrity. So could you vote for somebody that has no political experience? I feel like I feel like you need you need to understand the people. You need to understand how the system works if you're gonna sit there and run it. So even if like, they they like their views align with your views, but they didn't have any political background. Yeah. But let's say if somebody just comes out of nowhere, this twenty twenty like election that's gonna come <clears> up, <throat> like a new person, like I'm gonna run, and they had no really political background. I don't does, uh, uh, the cameraman does, does the Yang does he have a political background, or is he just freestyling? Okay, so I don't know if you know, but the Yang Gang nigga, the Asian dude, he wants to give people like $1,000 each month, and a lot of people are in on him, but he doesn't have a political background. So him not having a political background, uh, just in general though, but somebody who views align with yours, could you see yourself voting for them with no type of political background, but their views align with yours, which are both of you? Um, no. <clears throat> No? What up? You still have to make the smarter choice because then it's going to be another Trump situation. Cause but your your views in align with Trump. so I know, that's what I'm saying, but you have to look at it as the people whose views did align with Trump and they seen where it got them. So I guess the rebuttal for that, to play devil advocate, would be like the people that have been presidents for like the whole years of however many America has been here hasn't really done anything for black people. So the reason that a lot of people voted for Trump was he's not... Uh, uh, an insider. He's not like a political person, so maybe he can make a change because he's like one of us. They're idiots. That was people. So, <laughs> so if somebody uses that example for a liberal person and be like, well, he's like one of us. He's he's not one of the insiders, so maybe he can make a change because we've been voting for all these government people and they he's, haven't done anything for us. He's so. one of us. Yeah. Has he ever been middle class? Exactly. That was that was. He's the, not one of us. That, that was what the white people were saying. He said he got a small loan of half a million dollars, or was it I, I think, a million I think dollars? It was a million. A million, million. Like, a million like, small loan. Excuse me. If I had a small loan of a million dollars, I'm sorry, I would be a million a, a millionaire too because I wouldn't I wouldn't waste a million dollars like that so still no on voting for somebody who doesn't have any nah. political experience just, i just feel just, like y'all just gonna be too even e- I mean, even if people with political experience haven't helped black people that much so it's like kind of like a cycle it's like why not try something new at this point it's like what what's the worst that can happen i feel like that's how people feel true but i mean we just we see how it is already with somebody who has no political background. Mm-hmm. Tries to run it. But, and he has some views for some other people. But mm-hmm. Like, of course, I mean, it's not working in the favor of people of color. So, I don't know. So your thing is, you think we should go back to voting for the people that have had government experience? Since we've seen like how this worked out. a little bit helps. Out. Just with knowing your people. Yeah. Like knowing the people. Like, I mean, obviously. It's like, literally like electing somebody for a job that they've never done before. And they've never studied for. Even though they're, you know, they have like good, they have good people skills. Mm-hmm. But how many, how many times have we all applied for jobs, and we have good people skills? We're, we're a leader with this and that, which is exactly what somebody is without the background. But how many times do they hire us? Exactly. Because you've never worked, you've never had experience. Because you can have all that. Right. There's so many people with, you know, just I mean that background, but you've never worked the job. So do you guys vote? Yeah, I mean, I, since I, I can't. You can't. No. Is that like a? It's like a. It's a residence thing. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I can. You can. Are you going to vote this next upcoming election? Mm-hmm. Have you been keeping up with what's been going on there, or not yet? Mm, not really. Um. Yeah. I have to catch myself up. Okay. Work. Well, since you can't vote, do you do you keep up with anything that's going on, like in the political sphere, outside of like Trump? Yeah. Somewhat. Somewhat? Okay. Well, um, I don't want to keep you guys for too long. Uh, I think that was a very productive conversation. I don't know if you have anything else to add or anything else you want to talk about while we're here. Follow me on Instagram, Little Oreos. Now I have your Instagram in the <laughs> title. Too. I have both I your Instagrams do. in the title, so. That's how you do it. Yeah, like, it's not, it's <laughs> right not, it's not going to be right there. It's going to be up there. Up there. It's going to be up there. It's definitely going to be up there. Uh, right. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, uh, until next time, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Uh, haters gonna hate, players gonna play. You guys, holler at. Ah, that messed up. Okay, holler at your boy. <laughs>